Hello everyone. Now that we can recognize money, it is important that we learn how to make change when we have to work with large and small sums of money. To do this, you should be able to count forwards and backwards in both tens and ones without much problem. We will revise counting forwards a little in this video. You will know that you are good at counting forwards and backwards if you can count this way in your head without actual pictures or visuals to help you. For this video, we will be revising using this number chart. When we count in steps of 1, we move horizontally like this on the chart. Say we start on 43, counting forwards would mean that we count like this 44, 45, 46 and so on. If we count backwards in steps of 1, we will start on 43 and move backwards counting 43, 42, 41 and so on. If we count in steps of 10, then we move vertical or up and down like this. Again, let's say we start on 43, then counting forwards in 10 would mean we get 53, 63, 73 and so on. For equivalent money, counting in steps of 5 and 2 will also be an important skill. Try to figure out how this would look on your number chart. Now let's see how counting will work with money. If we get 50 cents, how many 10 cents can we exchange for them? Now it's simple. Just start counting from the coin's own value in this case 10 and count in steps of the coin's value till you reach the value that you need in this case 50 cents watch we get 10 20 30 40 and 50 this means we can exchange 5 10 cent coins for 1 50 cent coin. Now try this one with me. How many 5 cent coins can I exchange for 20 cents? Again, start from the coin's own value, in this case 5 cents, and count forward in the coin's value. Now count along and remember to stop counting at 20. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20. So we can say that we exchange 4 5 cent coins for 1 20 cent. Download this learning sheet from your school portal and revise on your own. Try to draw the coins out to help you count. You can get a parent or a teacher to check your work when you are done. You can do the same thing for notes. Now let's try this one. How many $2 notes can I exchange for one $10 note? That means how many $2 can I get for this one note? We do the same thing. Watch and count. Starting from the note's own value, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This means we can exchange 5 $2 notes for 1 $10 note. The more you practice, the faster and better you will get. Use your activity book exercises to practice and show your learning. Have fun with money!